Vladimir Putin is the world's most powerful man. He went from being a KGB spy to becoming the president of one of the world's most influential nations. As he moved up the ladder, he became a war maestro, defeated Russian oligarchs, and fixed his country's economy. But beyond that, he amassed so much wealth for himself. The Kremlin claims he earns an annual salary of $140,000. This sounds humble for a man who loves extravagant things. In 2018, Putin declared a mere 800-square-foot apartment in St. Petersburg, two Soviet-era cars, and an off-road truck. But then, experts disagree. They say Vladimir Putin's estimated net worth is about $200 billion. How did a man with such a modest salary amass such wealth? Everyone is curious about this one question. How did Vladimir Putin acquire his wealth? In 2017, Bill Browder, the CEO of Hermitage Capital Management, told the U.S. Senate Judiciary Committee that Putin was worth over $200 billion. This accidental wealth happened after a Moscow court jailed oligarch Mikhail Khodorkovsky in 2003 for fraud and tax evasion. Mikhail was sentenced to 14 years in prison. Following his conviction, the other oligarchs in Russia ran to Putin, asking for favors. They were desperate to safeguard their fortunes and evade arrest. Of course, Russia's president took advantage of it. From then on, it appeared Putin made a deal with these wealthy men. He allegedly demanded 50% of their earnings. No, it wasn't for the Russian government or the presidency, but for himself. You're probably thinking that the sanctions imposed on Russia's billionaires negatively affect Putin's wealth. Well, no. President Vladimir Putin is comfortable with the international sanctions because it means that these oligarchs are forced to bring their billions home to Russia. And of course, this increases Putin's leverage over them. On top of all these, the famous Panama Papers linked Putin to a network of secret offshore deals and loans worth $2 billion. Although his name does not explicitly appear in the records, the data shows that his friends earned millions of dollars from deals he may have sanctioned. It also suggests that Putin's family has benefited from these monies. The Panama Papers also exposed Sergei Roldugin, a man believed to be Putin's best friend. Well, Russia's president denies the claims but admits to a different type of wealth. I collect emotions. I am wealthy in that the people of Russia have twice entrusted me with the leadership of a great nation such as Russia. I believe that is my greatest wealth. In 2015, a Forbes spokeswoman told journalists that Vladimir Putin is not on the Forbes billionaires list because they're yet to verify his ownership of assets worth over a billion dollars. How does Vladimir Putin spend his alleged wealth? First off is his lavish Black Sea mansion. Putin is rumored to be the owner of a 190,000 square foot mansion perched majestically on a cliff that overlooks the Black Sea. This coastal property is believed to be the largest private residence in Russia. It serves as his private palace, and it is little wonder it is called Putin's country cottage. The estate is Putin's playland. It boasts a marble swimming pool lined with statues of Greek gods, frescoed ceilings, a 27,000 square foot guest house, a musical parlor, spas with traditional hammams, dressing rooms for all his staff, a theater, a Vegas style casino, state of the art ice hockey rink, a nightclub, a bar room showcasing over $100,000 of wine and spirits, an underground tasting room, and much more. Reports say that most of the mansion is decorated by an exclusive luxury Italian brand called Citerio Atena and Louis XIV style sofas. The dining room furniture costs around $500,000, while the bar table alone is about $54,000. And that's not all. It even has decked out bathrooms with fancy $850 Italian toilet brushes and $1,250 toilet paper holders. On top of this extravagant furnishing, Putin spends at least $2 million annually to maintain the property, which is managed by a 40-person staff. Italian architect Lanfranco Cirillo designed Vladimir Putin's Black Sea mansion. 
It cost a whopping $1.4 billion to construct. According to a Reuter investigation, the money for this project was laundered through the country's 1.3 trillion ruble national project called Health. Reports say the project bought expensive medical equipment from a company owned by Putin's friends Shamalov and Gorolov. The men later sent around $56 billion to the Swiss bank accounts of a Belize company. The Belize account then transferred $48 million to an account controlled by Medea Investment, a company controlled by Cirillo. As expected, Shamalov, Gorolov, and Cirillo called the allegations a blatant lie. The Kremlin has also debunked rumors that Putin owns the palace. Instead, it says it belongs to a wealthy businessman. Russian analysts call it a blatant lie because no businessman has properties guarded by Russia's Federal Security Service with a no-fly zone over it. Just when you think Vladimir Putin was done, he went ahead and acquired lavish wristwatches, which are about six times his official salary. Vladimir Putin has been pictured wearing a Patek Philippe's perpetual calendar watch worth over $60,000. He allegedly owns a $500,000 A. Lang & Sohn Tobograph and watches from other fancy brands. Years ago, ABC News reported that Putin's luxury watch collection was worth over $700,000. Putin rides in style around the world. Whether it's land, air, or sea, he leaves an indelible mark. His $1 billion aircraft collection comprises 58 helicopters and aircraft. First on the list of Putin's aircraft is the Dassault, the Falcon 7X. It has an advanced machine active in over 41 countries. It has a 12 to 16 seating capacity. Its interior has three lounge areas and 28 large windows. It also has a comfortable relaxation space for a relaxing experience between work. The jet costs a jaw-dropping $54 million. Next is the Ilyushin IL-62 jets. Reports say Putin owns not one or two, but five of them. The aircraft is one of the best aviation creations by Russia. The aircraft has a seating capacity of 198 passengers, and the interior is customized based on the owner's preference. Each of the jets cost $52 million. It doesn't end here. Putin also acquired a Tupolev Tu-204-300A. This aircraft has a higher cruising speed with short wings. It is similar to the Airbus A321 and Boeing 757. Only around 90 pieces of this aircraft have been manufactured so far, and Putin owns a piece. We just can't end this without mentioning one of Putin's most expensive private jets. He owns an Airbus ACJ319. The plane has a seating capacity of 19 passengers. This Airbus has a master bedroom with a king-size bed, ensuite VIP bathroom, and shower. The aircraft has a non-stop flying range of 10 hours. And finally, the IL-96-300PU is worth over $716 million. Also called the Flying Kremlin, this aircraft's interior is decorated in a luxurious neoclassical style. It boasts walnut veneers, gold trimmings, leather furniture, and Russian tricolor highlights. President Putin and his guests have everything they might need inside this plane. As for its safety, it is fitted with multiple technologies to forestall occupants against potential attacks. And to keep his options open by land, sea, or air, Putin has a fleet of luxury cars and a mega yacht. President Putin's $100 million mega yacht houses a helipad, an indoor swimming pool, a sauna, and an elaborate dining room that can seat 12 people. Pictures of the lavishly decorated interior show champagne-colored carpets and marble bathrooms that cost as much as $88,000. The Russian president reportedly owns another 450-foot, $700 million Shahrazad, one of the world's largest superyachts. It is docked in a shipyard in Marina di Carrara in Italy. As if that's not all, newly available images provide a rare glimpse inside Putin's 22-car ghost train. We hear he uses this train for travels around Russia. 
Its luxurious features include a massage salon, equipped gym, ornate dining cars, and even a cinema to add to its extravagant appeal. Meanwhile, this train is heavily armored with bulletproof doors and windows. It is believed to be about $74 million, but it requires an additional $15.8 million in annual maintenance. Although Putin publicly admitted owning three cars, we hear he has a fleet of 700 vehicles. The Russian-Ukrainian war did not only shake the globe, it unraveled more about Vladimir Putin's net worth, assets, and extravagant lifestyle. Putin's secret life highlights the need for transparency and accountability in leadership. Anyways, what are your thoughts on leaders indulging in luxurious lifestyles at the expense of taxpayers? Share your thoughts in the comments below.